Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will take you through the process of deploying Niton securely in the cloud using Docker, Portainer, and Nginx Proxy Manager. This tutorial builds on a previous series where I explained the easiest way to get started with Docker in the cloud using Docker Compose. For these cloud-based sessions, I'll be using Linode as the platform, but rest assured, the process is very similar regardless of which cloud service provider you choose. For this guide, I assume you already know how to set up Docker, Portainer, and Nginx Proxy Manager. If you are unfamiliar with these tools, I recommend you watch my earlier tutorials in this series. Links to previous videos are included in the description. Let's dive into today's task. Today, we will install N8N in the cloud and set it up to use a domain name and SSL certificate for security. Before we start, let me explain what N8N is. N8N is a free and open source automation tool that allows you to connect apps and services to streamline and automate tasks and connect to APIs and webhooks, among others. It's gaining a lot of attention because it's a no-code or low-code platform, meaning you don't need to be a programmer to use it. It also integrates over 300 apps and services, and you can self-host it, giving you more privacy, control, and cost efficiency than cloud-based solutions. We will set up popular workflows in future videos to help you grab the basic N8N features. In this tutorial, I'll be using IONOS as my domain service provider. Feel free to use any other provider if that works better for you. If you'd like to follow the exact steps I'm demonstrating, there's a link in the description where you can get a .info domain for just $1 for the first year. Once you've purchased your domain, log in to your account and navigate to the domain and SSL section. This will bring you to a page like the one I'm showing. I have multiple domain names in my account, but if you're starting fresh, you'll probably see just one. Click on the link for your domain name to open its settings. For this demonstration, I'll be using the domain smallfoot.com. Here, we'll create a subdomain. Creating a subdomain is useful because it allows us to reserve the main domain for other purposes, like hosting a primary website. In this case, our subdomain will be used exclusively for access to N8N so it doesn't need its own dedicated domain. Click Create Subdomain and enter the name you want. I'll use cloud as the name, which creates the domain cloud.mallfoot.com. Keep in mind that the subdomain won't appear right away. It usually takes a few minutes, but in some cases, it can take up to 48 hours to fully propagate. For most people though, it's ready within a few minutes, to a few hours. To save time, I've already created my subdomain for this demonstration. Once your subdomain appears, you'll need to edit its settings so the A records both with and without www point to your cloud server. In this example, I'm using Linode. I've already edited the A records and entered Linode's IP address. If you're using a different cloud hosting provider, make sure to get their IP address and add it to the A records. Then give it time to propagate. The next step is linking your subdomain to the cloud servers. If you're using a Linode like I am, log in to your Linode account. Once you're on the dashboard, which should look something like this, click on domains in the left-hand menu. Next, click create domain at the top right corner. This is where we link the subdomain we created earlier to our cloud account. I will start by entering cloud.smallfoot.com as my primary domain. Provide an email address where all communications about the domain will be sent. After that, select the second option here, which allows us to link the subdomain to an existing Linode. Once selected, your Linode will appear as an option. Choose it then click Create Domain to finalize the process. As you can see, all the necessary details have been added automatically. If your subdomain hasn't propagated yet, 
don't worry. Keep checking periodically until it becomes active. Now, we are ready to set up N8N. We start by going to Portainer. If you haven't set up Portena yet, there's a link in the description to a previous video that walks you through the process. As you can see, I'm using a different domain for Portena. That is cloud.solutionsbridge.org in this case. Once your cloud environment is configured like this, you won't need to worry about managing deployments manually. Everything can be handled with Docker Compose YAML code for whatever service you want to deploy. For deploying N8N, we'll use specific Docker Compose YAML instructions. I've included a link to the YAML code in the description for your convenience. All you need to do is copy and paste the code as I'll demonstrate shortly. Let's start by creating a stack. Click on Stacks to begin, then click on Add Stack. First, we give the stack a name that we will be using to identify it. After that, make sure the web editor option is highlighted. This is the space where you need to paste the docker compose yaml code. Let me paste the code here. I will explain it shortly but before then we need to set the environment variable to keep the authentication credentials secure. So copy the username and password variables and create a username and a password for each. Keep these details safe. We will use them in future automation. This is the Docker Compose file for deploying N8N. It uses version 3.1 of the Docker Compose format and defines the N8N service. The image directive specifies that we'll use the latest version of the N8N image. The restart policy is set to always, ensuring the service automatically restarts if it stops unexpectedly. The port section maps port 5678 on the container to port 5678 on the host machine. Under the environment section, we define key settings. N8N host is set to cloud.smallfoot.com N8N port is set to 5678 Webhook tunnel URL points to https cloud.smallfoot.com for webhook routing Basic authentication is enabled with N8N basic auth active set to true The username and password are specified using environment variables The network section connects the N8N service to an external network named Nginx proxy manager default. Finally, a volume named N8N data is mounted to persist data in the container's home node.n8n directory, ensuring your workflows and settings are saved across restarts. With this configuration, N8N is securely accessible via cloud.smallfoot.com and you are ready to deploy and automate your workflows. Ensure you have updated your stack and then click deploy to finalize the process. After deploying the stack, we can check if the domain is correctly pointing to it by visiting cloud.smallfoot.com. As you can see, uh, N8N isn't accessible yet because we need to set up secure access using HTTPS. This is easier to achieve with a graphical tool like Nginx Proxy Manager. If you haven't deployed the proxy yet, check the description for a link to a video that explains how to set it up. The final step is to use Nginx Proxy Manager to manage traffic in and out of our 19 instance. Our domain will be the proxy in this case. To add our domain, go to Hosts, then click on Add Proxy, then add the domain cloud.smallfoot.com. Then we enter our Docker containers IP address or name and its related port number. You can get these details from the stack we just created. Then make sure cache assets are enabled, common exploits are blocked, it allows WebSocket support and the access list is publicly accessible. And then you save. 
As you can see, the subdomain has now been added to the proxy server. We now only need to create a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for the subdomain. To create an SSL certificate, click on Add SSL Certificate, then select Let's Encrypt. Add your subdomain here. My domain is cloud.smallfoot.com. Then add your preferred email for communications about the certificate. Do not enable DNS challenge unless you know how to set it up. Agree to the Let's Encrypt Terms of Service and then click Save to create the SSL certificate. This will take a few seconds. After creating the certificate, we need to attach it to the subdomain. To achieve this, go to Hosts, then Proxy Host to edit the subdomain. Then go to the SSL Certificates tab and select the certificate we have just created. Make sure you have enabled all these options to improve security. Finally, click Save to update the changes. The domain should now point to the N8N instance and the SSL certificate should be functioning properly. To set up N8N, enter your email address, first name, then your last name, and a strong password as well. Then click Next. Kindly ensure the email is correct because the N810 activation key will be sent to this email. Complete this dialog by first selecting what best describes you. I will choose education, then IT, then CICD. Then it's for myself and then less than 20 people will use it. And finally, I learned about N8N from YouTube. After completing the form, click on Get Started to continue. If you plan to use N810 for business, you may consider paid features. For now, a free license works for me. So I will click on Send me a free license. We have now successfully set up N8N in the cloud. All we need is to register the platform. Go to your email and copy the license key sent in the previous step. Click on this link in the bottom right corner. Click on Enter Activation Key. Paste the key you copied from your email and then click Activate. Your platform will be activated instantly. Congratulations! You are now ready to automate workflows from automatic responses to customers via WhatsApp, Facebook and Telegram, among others, to the automatic creation of SEO-optimized blogs using AI. Everything will now be within your control, irrespective of your coding skill. Now that we've successfully set up Night in the cloud, the possibilities are endless. I'd love to hear your ideas. Drop a comment below and tell me what we should automate next. Wishing you seamless automations ahead. If you are excited about joining this journey of cloud automation and integration, don't forget to hit subscribe and be part of this growing community. Let's build the future together.